Hello and welcome to tutorial number 11 in this series for Excel beginners. In this tutorial we're going to look at creating a pie chart and the first thing we need to do is obviously select the data and what I want to include are the titles so I'm going to select everything down there in column A or A2 to A9 at least and then I need the rental values and to select the rental values just hold down the control key and that allows me to skip the rental price column and just click and drag from C2 down to C9. Okay, so once that's done, I can click on the chart wizard button there. I'm going to select the pie chart as the chart type, leave it as a 2D chart. I get a quick preview if I want to there, it looks fine. Click on next, and here I can change where the chart data comes from. I don't need to change it, but it's just to let you know that if you want to for whatever reason you can actually reselect where the chart data comes from. I don't need to do that here, but Excel is just telling me where the data is coming from, should I need to know. So just click on Next, and that takes me through to step three. And here, these three tabs up here, Titles, Legend, and Data Labels, just allow me to change information that appears on the chart. First thing I can do is change the chart title, and I will change it to Rentals of Movies, and then maybe put in brackets Units so people understand what the chart's about. And if you wait a few seconds, as you see, that the, the new label pops up on the chart preview there. The legend box, I'm going to include a legend box, and just to let you know that you can move it around if you want to with this option. So I can have it at the bottom of the chart or the top, but I'm going to leave it on the right-hand side for now. And the final tab there, data labels, allows me to add information onto the chart so people understand what each of the sections of the pie chart mean. What I'm going to do here is click on the show percentage button there. So that tells people what percentage value each of those sections represent. Finally, click on the next button, and this tells us, or this allows us to move the chart to a new spreadsheet uh, if we want to, or keep it as an object along with the data table in the current spreadsheet. And that's what I'm going to do here. So as object in is highlighted or selected, click on finish, and there is the chart. Okay, there's some problems already again, you can see with that. We need to make some changes, do a bit of formatting. First thing I'll do is make the chart a little bit bigger and so I'm going to just move the mouse pointer down to the bottom right, click on one of those drag handles and then just drag it to make it a bit larger there so we can see what's going on. I'm going to move the title up to the top left and so just click on that title and drag it up there and then I'm going to move these numbers within the chart area so they're actually on top of the pie chart not out on, along the edge of it. So I'm going to click first of all to select all the numbers, click again to select one, and then I can then move these one by one, just click and drag, into the relevant section of the pie chart. Now don't worry at the moment that it, they're not showing up too well, I'm going to change the colours in a second. Okay, so that's moved them all in there. I'm then going to give them a yellow background. Whoops, oh, what I've done there accidentally is selected one, so to reselect, just click away, click back on, that selects all the numbers put that yellow background on there, that's fine. I'll change the font size, maybe make it 10, and uh, that isn't good yet, but that's where I want the labels to be. The final thing I'm going to do is actually change the size of the chart itself. So to do that, I need to select the plot area, remember. On, I've got a chart area here and a plot area. Make sure the plot area is highlighted, click. That selects your pie chart, you can then resize that. So it looks a bit more substantial. There we go. Stands out much better. I'm going to then resize these numbers again because when you resize the, the plot area, it automatically resizes your labels as well, whether you want to or not. So highlight those again and I'm going to reduce those back down to 10 point. Make them bold, stand out a little bit. And then I can just move them again to a new location, nearer to the edge than the centre. It's entirely up to you where you put these labels, it doesn't really matter, as long as you, you're happy with how your chart looks when you're all finished. OK, and once again I'm going to move this label again, it's getting a bit annoying, so it's resized. I'm going to shrink it back down, make it 10 points, so it's not too intrusive. And this time I'll shift it out of the way to the right hand side there. OK, that looks a bit better, that stands out much more... Uh, than the small one that Excel first put up there. That's fairly straightforward. You can see you can resize it quite quickly. You can change, for example, the uh, the legend box as well if you want to. If I want to make those a little bit smaller, 
say 11 uh, maybe make them bold as well if I want to stands out a little bit more and I can move that legend box around so it's coming into the uh, the chart area a bit more there we go and finally what I'll do I'll just put a fancy background on there um, not on the plot area on the chart area so I need to just select the chart area right click format chart area go to fill effects again we'll use that option and uh, we'll just put a couple of bluey type colors on there we'll have a diagonal stripey effect there we go and we'll maybe add the uh, color to the legend box as well so right click format legend give that uh, a different background as well and uh, maybe put a background on my title as well there we go and that's all pretty much I can just tweak that a wee bit pretty much done so there we go a 2d pie chart in no time at all the thing to remember is that when you create a chart with Excel, if it doesn't look quite right, first of all, don't just leave it as it is. Remember that you can quickly reformat the chart, resize, reposition the labels, change the size of the labels, delete them all together if you don't like them. Um, and with a few clicks and uh, a few choices on menu options, you can come up with a fairly decent looking chart. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching again. I hope you found a few other things and they're useful and see you next time.